I was originally thinking that I would call this talk a JVM hacker in Julia land. I've spent the last couple of decades working on Java and Fortress. To make sure that we're on the same page, let's start by talking about a textbook garbage collection algorithm that you may have learned in school. This is used by Lisp and Java. It's what you think of when you think of a garbage collector, or at least what I do. Um, there is a small semi-spaced young generation where objects are copied back and forth until they've survived long enough to be promoted to the old generation. There is a card table that summarizes pointers from the old generation to the young generation so that we can collect the young generation independently without having to scan the entire old generation. So it's possible to get fancier with garbage collection algorithms from there. Uh, one particular notion is to divide the heap into regions so that rather than having a fixed size young generation and a fixed size old generation, you just have a number of regions and whether a region is young or old changes during the running of the program. You can also get fancier by adding more threads to the garbage collector. If you want a parallel garbage collector, that means that you add more threads to have the GC work done more quickly. If you have a concurrent garbage collector, that means that you have a thread that's running while your program threads are running to try and get the GC work done outside of the stop the world pause. So there are some differences with Julia garbage collection from what I think of as a traditional garbage collector. So let's talk about the things that are similar. It is generational, meaning we can collect the young generation separately without having to scan the entire heap. It is exact, meaning that we know all the things that the compiler is pointing to. It is non-copying. So if you think of a mark sweep traditional algorithm, that's the closest to what Julia is. Let's talk about allocation in Julia. We want it to be fast. Because we're not copying, we can't necessarily do a pointer bump allocator, but we want to be as fast as possible. So what we do is that each Julia thread has its own set of thread local allocation pages, one for each size of Julia object up to 2032. So when you allocate one of these small objects, it gets allocated on the appropriate page. When that space is reclaimed, it's just the right size for a new object of that size. If you have larger objects, they get malloced directly. And when we sweep through and we find that one of those objects is no longer needed, it gets freed explicitly. So an example here, these are the size 16 object. Here's a size 16 object page. You fully allocate it with blue objects until a GC happens. The objects that survived here are colored dark blue and the empty spaces that have been found, we call them, we sweep the page looking for empty spaces that are no longer live and we link them together in place into a free list. As you can see, as more objects are allocated, we now have a mix of old objects and young objects and free spaces on our page. So in order to keep track of the old to young pointers to be able to collect the young generation independently, we have a remembered set that is kept current pretty much the same way as the card table was in the traditional GC except that it points to objects which contain young pointers and must be scanned at every minor slash young GC. Okay, so what are the problems with this strategy? Okay, the first problem is that the GC heuristics could use some fine tuning. Currently, we decide on an allocation interval so we're going to garbage collect every 70 megabytes, say. 
we will perform a minor GC when we hit that threshold. And if we can retrieve half of the space, if we can reclaim half the space, then we can start another allocation interval. But if we don't collect enough, we will do a full GC, a major GC. And again, if we collect enough, we go back to our allocation interval. If not, we grow the allocation interval. The idea is to find that sweet spot where we were getting back 50% of the space at every GC. So the first problem is that there's no notion of an upper bound for allocations. So I have seen programs where each GC gets 50% of the space back, but the heap continues to grow until you get an out of memory error. A second issue that I've seen is that we end up doing fruitless garbage collections without reclaiming anything. So you do a minor GC, everything survives. You do a major GC, everything survives. And then we grow the allocation interval and start over again. We end up spending an enormous amount of time in garbage collection without reclaiming any space. And we'd like to avoid doing that. We've updated the GC heuristics in the development branch. We want to put off major GCs as long as possible because they're expensive. And if you don't need them, we'd rather avoid them. So what we do is we figure out what the high water mark is on your machine, meaning 70% of the available memory. When we start, we just continue to do young generation GCs, potentially growing the allocation interval until we get to that high water mark, and only then do we start doing full GCs. If that uses too much memory, we have the idea of a heap size hint, which says we want the Julia process to stay under this number, if at all possible. Another issue that the Julia garbage collector has is that it is sequential. And when your programs are multi-threaded, one GC thread cannot keep up with the allocations of eight Julia threads. You're asking the garbage collector to do a lot more work. And so it looks like it's taking up a lot more time. There are some specific to Julia GC challenges. Uh, some of them are just that our intuitions are wrong. Stack allocation means that there are less short-lived objects to be collected. Another difference is that Julia needs fast interoperability with C. A call to a mathematics library in C has to be just as fast in Julia as it is from another C program. We can't marshal objects. We can't copy arrays. We can't add a level of indirection with a handle. We have to have direct passing of Julia objects to and from C. Another challenge is LLVM. If we want to have a compacting garbage collector, which I think we do for things like uh, a page with only one object in it, for example, um, we need to have all of the pointers to an object explicitly given to us by the compiler. And LLVM currently just provides us with a minimal set, which may only include one pointer to an object when it has several pointers stashed in registers. A final problem is the malloc free overhead. Even though a good implementation will aggregate calls to malloc and free. I have seen thousands of calls into the kernel running a Julia program, and that's a cost that we really can't afford. We're developing a GC benchmark suite. If you have any non-proprietary algorithms, please send them to us or check them in yourself. There are some exciting talks that are addressing some of these challenges coming up later today. Feel free to contact me about garbage collection or compilers or anything Julia related.